After more than two years of claiming to be free of COVID-19, North Korea made public an outbreak of the Omicron virus. Shortly after announcing a COVID-19 outbreak, North Korea reported eight additional deaths and nearly 400,000 people showing symptoms nationwide. According to the official Korean Central News Agency, the new cases raised the total number of deaths to 50 and that of those who have shown fever symptoms since late April to over 1.21 million. Among those with fever, more than 640,000 have fully recovered and at least more than 550,000 are being treated. The North has called for a widespread lockdown as well as a further strengthening of medical supplies. During a Politburo meeting, potential measures on how to control the outbreak has been discussed. Kim Jong-un also expressed his dissatisfaction that medicine has not been properly supplied to pharmacies, according to the Korean Central News Agency. Hit hard by the spread of the coronavirus and lack of medical supplies, North Korea has asked China for assistance in its battle against the pandemic. North Korea recently used its diplomatic channel to reach out to its neighbor for COVID-19 supplies and equipment, and talks between the two sides are ongoing. The North Korea-China border remains closed due to the pandemic, but is expected to temporarily open once the two sides agree on specifics of China's assistance. China said last week that it was prepared to offer full support for North Korea as necessary. On the other hand, South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol offered to send COVID-19 vaccines and other medical supplies on Friday. The Unification Ministry then said on Sunday it would propose working-level talks with North Korea as soon as possible to provide practical help in coronavirus response.